Freetown. Talk about Freetown without talking about this historical cotton tree behind me. My brother. Um, welcome to another segment of our tour. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's the, the only surviving majestical country tree. Okay. In 1879, when the first batch of slaves arrived, this is the country tree where they walk through. The country tree is up to 500 years now. Wow. Um, this is where the slaves, they were praying and doing their normal businesses. One more thing. Who planted this cotton tree? The cotton tree is an original cotton tree. This okay. cotton tree has been in existence for more than four, four to five hundred years. Okay. And this is where these slaves, they were praying and doing their normal businesses. On arrival to the government, to have, which we now call the Connaught Hospital or the gateway to the King, Old King's Yard, went to Mospitas, who led the first batch of slaves, walked through this majestic cotton tree. And this majestic cotton tree is in the middle of Freetown. We are it's surrounded by the state house, law court, and that of Christ Church. This part of Freetown was the oldest part of Freetown. They walked through this country tree. This is where they were praying and doing their normal businesses. The height of this country tree is 160, and the length of them is 140. The sheds, it was a, a shed for the slaves, and it was a home for them. When they arrived, some of them died under this country tree, and they were buried at this country tree. Wow. This country tree is up to 500 years now. And it is a home for these birds, this, um, uh, the feather species, the birds and the vultures. And this uh, country tree, if we are talking about Freetown, if we don't include this country tree, or if you come to Freetown, you don't see this majestic country tree, it means you are not being in Freetown. This is the wonderful and historical country tree. Mm -hmm.